canceled because of fog. This is the lines. Holy shit. I'm gonna try and make it, but might have to move the show to tomorrow. <laughs> Got the van, get to the airport, cancel, get our bags, go back out, check in again, cancel number two. Go back out, get our bags, some ice cream, some Cheetos, cancel number three. Show's over. Damn it. What else can we do, Rob? I blame you, Chris. Yeah. It's your fault. <laughs> so no, we can't. I know. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. What time we get to the airport today? We got here 845? 845. Uh, it is now 445. So we've been here for eight hours and oh. three flights canceled tried the fog has just been brutal they wouldn't let the planes take off it's a bummer no we can't do this show tomorrow because then there's no flight for us to get to sao paulo the next day I mean, I'm down to do the show tomorrow if we can get to Sao Paulo. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I don't want to. Yeah, we got two some horses. And, uh, I mean, there was like 250 pre-sale. Right. I'm totally down to yeah. do the show. I mean, it's going to be. It's All a Friday right. night. So it's going to be probably pretty good. Get us yeah. the video to Sao Paulo. We'll have to go Montevideo to uh, Oakland, okay. California. What kind of plane? Because <laughs> then we Los might be in the same position with the gear. And if we can't get all the gear onto the plane, then we can't we can't do the Sao Paulo show. One of the big things that we faced on this run is that we uh, we're flying all of our gear. So everything has to go into the plane. There's been a few times, a few times that we haven't even been able to make it. But because we had the day off between the shows, it worked out. So now we're talking about moving the show to tomorrow and getting another plane. But if the plane isn't big enough, we can't do the show. 9.30 a.m. flight, we'll get into Sao Paulo at 2.30. All right, so we arrived at 3.45 Sao Paulo. So what time will that get us to the venue then? Five o'clock? Oh. So Paulo's a Sunday too. Yeah, and that's if all the gear shows up. That's my biggest concern is, you know, we do everything we can for this show and then Sao Paulo, you know, goes bust because our gear doesn't show up. Now, you know, I mean, we want, we want to do both shows, but we can't sacrifice one show, you know, for 200 people for, you know... Biggest show of the tour. To make, you know, make the small show work and then lose the big show. He's saying he found a flight. Yeah. So, but, as you heard, my biggest concern is the gear. Yeah, I hear you. If we don't get that gear to Sao Paulo, we don't have a show. 
I mean, that's getting pre- that's getting in pretty late to Sao Paulo. Yeah. For the day of a show, for the biggest show. You know, and that's an actual, at least, I mean, what do we normally? What time we normally load in? Yeah, we'd be getting in at five o'clock, and we're supposed to get on stage at eight. <laughs> that's no way. There's no way. He said he was going to talk to the, you know, talk to him and push everything back and what. Talk to who? The, the dude from Sao Paulo. Yeah. He ain't gonna push anything back. It's a Sunday night. I Why would we even push it back? I don't. I, I don't like the idea. I mean, I want. I want full shows to happen, but I'm not gonna. I don't want to jeopardize Sao Paulo for Montevideo. Does he think the idea of us playing tonight is still feasible? He didn't even mention about playing tonight. He, he was talking about moving the show till. And tomorrow. we're getting in at eight o'clock. It's. Does that leave us enough time to go on stage at late eleven? If we go on stage at eleven o'clock. I mean, I mean, if we get in there at eight o'clock, I mean, it's still we have to set everything up and go through everything. That's if everything's perfect at the venue. Yeah. Now, if everything's fucked up and no one's understanding anybody like it has been since we've gotten... You know, I mean, it's been two hours of just Steve trying to get the guys to get the lines correct. You know, yeah. From one board to another. It's just not... It's it's we're just, not walking in and just put, putting amps up and going in a PA, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's, now, if you guys just want to do that, just go up there say, you know, fuck the playback, just get on regular wedges, just have Steve worry about front of house and just play punk rock style, it's possible, but then that's all up on you guys. And I think if we went up and did like covers and machine head, simple stuff, yeah, like people paid a lot of money to see us for yeah. the first time, Yeah. and here we are fucking off. We, it, this is a situation where we got to prioritize, and... Fortunately, for Montevideo, Sao Paulo is more of a priority. We got, we have too much the risk to lose on just on that show alone. First we did Vans, <laughs> and then we did uh, check-in security immigration three times, and now we're, then we did, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Then we did cabs, and now we're doing boats doing ferries on the way to Montevideo to make this show happen at the 11th hour. At the, at the 11 and a half hour. Then a three hour bus ride. God, I forgot about that. Then I'm sure there's probably gonna be cabs again. <laughs> so, cabs, almost planes, uh, cabs, boats, Buses, then cabs, <laughs> then Uruguay, then rocket, then rocket. We're gonna be wanting to rock by that point. We're gonna make it happen. Holy moly! All right, kicking it on the bus here. We uh, we just got off of an hour-long ferry, so here we are. We're gonna take a three-hour bus ride. some public transportation in Uruguay, Uruguay, to get to this show. We're gonna arrive about 11 o'clock at night. We're gonna set up the most basic stuff that we can to do the show. Probably hit the stage around 1 a.m. And uh, hopefully there'll still be people there <laughs> to watch the show. And uh, the promoter thinks they will, but uh, we've already spent about $11,000 shipping our gear there. We had to truck our gear because it wouldn't go on the plane and they couldn't guarantee they would make it. So we're really trying to make it happen. I'm just on top of that. Just we want to make the show happen. First time ever playing in that city so or that country. So uh, we'll talk to you in three hours. All right. We made it to Uruguay. 
It is 10.32 at night. We're just kidding, we're supposed to be on stage a half an hour ago. The crew is on stage right now. And we're hoping, fingers crossed, we're gonna be on stage at midnight. We took a ferry, we took a three hour bus trip, but we're here in Uruguay. And uh, I don't know, I gotta go. It's a Friday night. I think people are gonna stay late. I think it's gonna be a rave. Looking forward. I don't have any drumsticks. No, no, no. You are the drumstick, right? Yes, sir. Okay. I am back now. Nice to meet you. Oh, right on, man. How about you, Mr. Hey. 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 <laughs> Let's sum it up. Sum it all up. Oh, hello, my dearie. Oh, hello. How are you? Uh, just thinking about cerveza and mamacita. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to ask him about it. Oh, a little it. house. See, we can have it. We can have a little thing and it can go boop. Yeah, just a little hinge in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. The fuck, Carlos? We're finally. This is Carlos, our rep. It's been a crazy day, huh? He's been on tour with us for the whole South American thing, or since we got to what Bogota. Yeah. <laughs> three missing planes, three, three canceled planes, flights, uh, one boat, one bus, yeah. another van. And who knows how many taxis and vans? Yeah. Uh, it's been crazy. It's been crazy. What about you? I'm shit, show, show, show must go on, man. I mean, what are you gonna do? It's all right. It's all right. We'll they do got it. beer back there. They got beer. They got meat. They got meat. They'll be fine. We're good. People want to see a show We're going on a midnight on a Friday. Yeah, we'll know the people that stay are gonna be the real hard. That's right. I need a drink because I'm about to die. Once they come, I just have to plug in eight cables, right. turn them on, match the frequencies for the eight. Okay. Let's roll. Once, once they go later than one o'clock. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm ready to go out front. It's okay. just a matter of you guys. Yeah. I mean, so, well, the old, you know. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. I didn't it's give a time. Crazy. Everything's there. Yeah. Famous last words. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna I rock. was. We're gonna be rocking. The guy's racing over here. What's happening? We got somewhat of this. Uh, so the ears are off. I have the rock for them, so as soon as they literally get here, I just gotta plug the eight channels in, and then uh, hopefully, if there is a god, um, there's, there's not, so. Uh, if they're the Sennheiser ones that we use, then it's, I just gotta quickly just go through, and do tanning, the limiting, the volume boost, the when they are, come here and they're not the ones we use? So uh, then they're just gonna be whatever it is. Okay. So the lines are there. I just gotta power them up, plug them in, Program all so they should be packs. here in about 10 minutes now. Hopefully, 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. That's where it's at. But it's raining. Well, 
it's been over 20 minutes, dude. It's been a half an hour at least. We gotta go. What time is it? It's quarter to one. Quarter to one. Tell Steve to play diary. About 30 minutes. Since Tell time. Steve to play diary. You wanna go? The wedges are bad. And this is even worse, just sitting around doing nothing. It's fucking gonna be one o'clock by the time we go. Steve, we have five more minutes. We're not here, and we're all done. And then it's gonna be another seven minutes for Diary. And then it's gonna be another minute for the intro of Imperium. Alright, no roll. It'd be nice to do our show. Huh? It's it's be nice. Nice. Uh -huh. We're not gonna know the difference between the quick time. But in five minutes, we still might not be able to do our show. Roll Diary? No, it's fucking 12.30 at night. What? I mean, fuck, there's traffic out there stopping somebody. Do they have an eat? Do they have a guy. I was told ten minutes ago. Ten. And say, where the fuck are you, Carlos? Call the guy and find out how far out they are. Because because we need to start here, now. Tell him fucking if he's not here in one minute, we're starting the fucking show, and we're not paying for shit. And he just ran around to do nothing.
We were talking with the promoter and he's like, you gotta come. There's so many people who were fucking stoked. We've never been here. This is our very, very first time ever, ever playing in your city, man. So thank you for making us feel so goddamn welcome. Man. So, the reason that we do this is for moments like this. You know, for moments like this, to come to a place that we've never, ever played and have all you guys sing along and going fucking crazy. This is what makes it all worth every moment, because that, that is the power of music, man. That is the fucking power of music, man.